Welcome back, guys, to episode 23 of the Iran series. So, just to catch up, let's see what our inflation's at. It's 14.75. Starting to kind of level out again. Um, we'll see what happens. And let's look at our debt. So we have a $36 billion surplus coming in. And let's look at unemployment. So that's starting to rise a little. So we'll see what we can do about um, bringing that down. So for starters, I am going to hire, let's see what else is left here. So I'm hiring 200,000 more teachers. And let's go to our nationalized industries to see what else um, they need as far as manpower. All right, so that's up to 357. All right, so... That looks okay so far. Damn, what about combat robots? So let's... Let's make that an even 400. An electrical material. So let's see. No. I'll I'll just close that out. Keep it where it is. Um, helicopters. Let's see what we can do with that. All right, so everything else looks okay so far. Um, let's see, paper. And that didn't do much of anything. And tire industry. Let's see. All right, so we can bump this workforce up to 600. Now, if that's only little over 1 million then we can make this let's just make it a thousand and that's only going to be 9.6 million all right and so I've decided that I'm going to uh, make a move on Afghanistan. Let's the see. decree takes effect as of... So, I know our military is a lot stronger than Afghanistan. So, as you can see here... Um, we have a stronger economy. 
we pretty much beat them in every category so we really don't have all that much to lose um just have to make sure we don't accidentally attack the uh, u.s base that's there <laughs> Because we're, we're not, we're definitely not strong enough to deal with the U.S. We rocked it. I will keep you informed. So, we hit the UAE with a uh, cyber attack. So... We'll keep an eye on the UAE, but uh, we'll make, make out better um, invading Afghanistan and not only invading, but incorporating Af Afghanistan into Iran, which uh, someone let me know beforehand that um, it was all part of the Persian Empire, so... Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iraq. So Iraq may be a problem. Oh, well, they're an ally of us. But also they have uh, the United States and the UK. Pretty much a number of NATO countries on their side. So that could cause a problem. It hit hard. Transportation is paralyzed. Okay, so we're pretty successful on the UAE attack. Um, but what I'm going to do now is... I want to put our commandos all in this base here and I'm going to start moving some uh some troops over and get our missiles in a defensive position And we're just going to put our troops here behind the border. And get some tanks ready. So let's, um, Our fellow countrymen's purchasing power has been increasing lately. Let's set up a cyber attack for Afghanistan. Actually, let's look at our Afghan network. So we have 70 agents there. And so let's um let's go ahead and change this to cyber attack preparation. And the funeral will take place next. All right, 
right, so we really need some drones. So let's go to that and see if we can really increase our production. All right, so that's being subsidized. It's 217 million. So we're going to increase that to 600 million. Let me look at our trade balance. So our trade balance is actually pretty good. So with industry and farming, we're actually both ahead. And what about energy? So we went down a little, well, yeah, somewhat. And about service. This loss is so very painful. Okay, Panama doesn't like us. So we're not going to make that investment. Um, yeah, we want to concentrate on our uh, military. And let's... Uh... here and see what we can all right so let's see what it's at at 50 so that's 2023 so what about 25 that's still 2023 so if we do 10 five times we can have that within uh within a few months so so let's pause that and All right, so we'll go from there. Okay, so we have 167 billion um, back into our the treasury. The package has been delivered. And we just got some more planes. All right, so inflation is still going down. So let's just drop our interest rate by a half percent. That should help with a few areas, um, especially unemployment. Let's 
Let's fly this drone to this area here and so we shouldn't have a problem um, taking over these border cities and Let's see, how many air bases do they have? So it's just one air base. Uh, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get a drone over there. Let's see, no, we can't get it that far. So, let's start moving some more equipment over here. All right, and what about our commandos? Do they all? Okay, we got all of our commandos here. Um, this already, the city already took a lot of damage. So let's just pull out our anti-aircraft -air battery right over here. And what about our helicopters? And so our growth, we're seeing negative growth again. So what about energy? So because we're in OPEC, I think I'm going to do an oil platform right in here. So we'll accept that. We'll accept that. All right, so we have a couple more drones that's going to be built. Should be done roughly within about two months, two months and a few days. So let's see how many. All right, they don't have that many troops there. They don't have that many troops there either. All right, so we need to find out what's in these two cities here. So we're going to fly our drone over that. Just to be on the safe side so we can see what's there. We're going to send that other drone over there. Because like I said, these, uh, these border areas, we should have no problem overtaking them altogether. And 
these two bases, we should have no problem taking care of also. But this is the real threat, is uh, the air base they have. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and hit them with the cyber attack. And we're also going to launch a cyber attack against their military. Duly noted, copy. Here is our growth forecast for the end of the year based on calculations that we made last month. This is an average figure. It reflects an economy with moderate dynamism. We could do better. All right, so we're out of that little mini Duly recession. Duly noted, group. copy that. And... So let's go ahead and... We're going to start firing on targets in this country. Do you confirm your... Yeah. All right, so we're going to get them over there. Uh, let's see. Gonna need them to take care of that base there. And... I probably should have moved all of these over, but since... It's not gonna make much of a difference because I hit them with a military cyber attack as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this play out. I have a small out. favor to ask. So then that leaves us with only one base that their military is going to be coming out of. And we, we should be able to defeat them easily. So let's go ahead and... We are going to attack this country. Alright, so we're going to send them to back them up. Alright, so that one base is gone. We rocked it. I will keep you. The terrorist organization has not at all. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. All right, let's go ahead and try that. Um, they don't really uh, make that much money. So. Let's go ahead and send, their, send our troops over there. Send them as backup. Um, we're going to go and send them there. I actually need to send them right into this city here. We should have no problem with taking them over. I'm gonna send that unit there. We need to take care of 
that base, get rid of that altogether. Need this fighter to All right. So we're going to take over Parliament. Want to take over that military base. Want to send that tank over there. So these troops that's here, I see what would be the best place. We're going to send these guys to the police department. We're going to take care of these guys, get them out of there. This country's armed forces are counterattacking violently. Actually, let's take over that military base. It hit hard. Transport. Strike. Our malware. All right. So we have our guys moving in and they're not going to be able to put up much of a fight and going to hire going to hire a few more cyber analysts which should help us And then we're just going to send, uh, we're going to send our commandos in. Need to take care of this base right here. So we already have this unit going there. So we're going to divert and go to this, this city. Uh, that base should be taken out. All right. So what are our guys doing? So, I'm not sure what's going on in Iraq, but so we're going to get, tell our, uh, All our units to withdraw from Iraq. I'm not sure why they're going through there. As I predicted, 
the systematic analysis of the habits of small groups has allowed us to strike a serious blow at the terrorists. We can now state with certainty that we have entered into a Najaf cycle, which is no less than an incitement to play the advantage, while the adversary Okay, so we're all right. We need to get rid of uh, need to get rid of that unit there. We have taken a slight of Let's get out of there. All right, now. Let's go back to cyber attack and Okay, so that's still a cyber attack is still in place, so we should have no problem dealing with um uh, Let's get rid of those guys there. take over their parliament the balance of all right And let's see where else can we go. All right, let's take over the bank. So we, we pretty much got this city under our control. We are very optimistic as... All right, so they're... Their uh, military bases are all gone. The only one that's still standing is the United States, and the U.S. is staying out of it, thank goodness. All right. They want a peace treaty. Eh, we're going to refuse. Because we're going to incorporate this entire country into our own. The enemy army is defeated. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that All right, so where is All right, so our commandos are 
almost there. Let's stand in there. We'll send our tanks there. And All right, so it looks like this city is actually going to put up somewhat of a fight. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Uh, next episode, we should hopefully um, be victorious. I'm sure we will. And Afghanistan will be no more. It will be an extension of Iran. And uh, we'll wait a little bit. We're not going to just end one war and then go into another. So after I take over this area, I'm going to build this area up so that we can defend ourselves and build a few more oil wells so we have a lot more income coming in so again thanks for the support please click, click the like uh please subscribe if you haven't already um there's more videos to come uh second episode of the trump agenda should be coming out also probably uh tomorrow and I will see you soon.